Okay, consumer behavior class, Jeff Myers. It is Monday morning. I hope everybody had a good weekend. Hope everybody's staying safe. I uh, wanted to talk briefly about two concepts or a couple concepts in the upcoming week on personalities. Um, the difference between somebody who is cheap and somebody who is frugal. Uh, if you are called a frugal person, you are you should be looking at that as a compliment because frugal people understand value, um, understand the value of their money, and are very careful, but will spend money if there's value there. Cheap people never spend money. Frugal people will go to Angus Barn. Cheap people won't unless it's on you know, someone else's paying. So. Being cheap is kind of a slam, but being frugal um, is a really a compliment. And frugal people watch their pennies and will buy expensive stuff and do things, uh, pay for dates, as long as they feel that the value is there. So don't get those two mixed up. A lot of people say they were called frugal and thought it was a, uh, a negative. Um, if you look through the chapter, you're going to see people who are materialistic, innovators. Materialistic is really typically not good. It's negative. Uh, people who measure themselves and their lives and their success on the stuff they own. A lot of stress. A lot of stress with people who are materialistic and show off all the time. Uh, but there's one that's really not in the chapter that... I have put on a discussion post a personality called Narcissist, and it is uh, really a sickness. And the unfortunate thing is that uh, in today's society, there are more of them than ever. Uh, I don't know if it's one out of 10, one out of 20, but it's getting up there. And it really stems from social media and having to show what you are all about on Instagram and Facebook and, um, you know, defining who you are more than a materialistic person, so much so that you think the world rotates around you. And it's a sickness to where you don't even see what's going on. It's a sickness to where you don't hear what's going on when people talk to you you truly believe that you are the center of the universe and that everybody else is below you. So I want you to do a little research on narciss narcissism, narcissistic people. If you've been called a narcissist in your life, uh, you better, well, that ain't good. You better probably get some help uh, because it's probably the worst personality trait or definition of a person, a person that you're being defined from that could ever, that's out there, let's just put it that way. It ain't good. Uh, so do some research on narcissism. Look at the buildup of traits that narcissistic people display. I have a video. And if you fall into that category, you gotta get help. Now, if you're a narcissist, you won't believe it anyway. So uh, someone's gonna have to tell you, but Think about it, look at it, and describe someone you know uh, and what to look out for for people who display narcissistic tendencies. Uh, that's about it. Uh, enjoy the week, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.